what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of x for which the x root of 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is equal to 32. well our first step will be for us to apply the property of indices to what we have here on the left the property of indices that says when I have, for example, the nth root of a number, let's say a, this is equal to, I'll take the number inside, which is a, and raise to the inverse of the number outside, n. That means when I have, for example, the cube root of 12, for example, this is equal to, I'll take this number 12, and I'll raise this to the inverse of the number outside, 3. That is it. So we're going to be applying this to what we have here. Now, I'll take the number inside, which is 4 times the square root of 2, times the square root of 2. This is the number inside. And I'll raise this to the inverse of x which is the number outside so i have one all over x that is it and this is equal to 32 on the right now in order to get rid of this x i have to multiply the power by x and as i multiply the power of the left hand side by x i also multiply the power of the right hand side by x the power on the right hand side is one I'll have to multiply it by x as well. Now notice that this x and this x cancels out, leaving behind 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. And this is equal to 32 to the 1 times x is x. Now our next step will be for us to get rid of this outer square root. And in order to do that, we have to square both sides. So I'll square the left-hand side. I'll also square the right-hand side. Now on the left-hand side, this square affects the 4, and it also affects the outer square root. So this can be written as 4 squared times, now this becomes the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 squared that is it this is equal to now on the right hand side we apply the property of indices that says the powers multiply so i have the base to be 32 now let's multiply the powers so x times 2 is 2x now let's simplify the left hand side 4 squared is 16 times now this square can cancel out the square root leaving behind 2 times the square root of 2. And this is equal to 32 to the 2x. And if we have to simplify further, you see that 16 times 2 root 2 is 32 root 2. This is equal to 32 to the 2x on the right. Now, our next step will be for us to get rid of this outer square root. And in order to do that, we still need to square both sides. So take the square of both sides. Now, we apply this, that this power affects the 32. It also affects the outer square root. So this can be written as 32 squared, which is this square here, times the square root of 2 squared. That is it. This is equal to, this is 32, which is the base. And from indices, the powers multiply. So 2x times 2 gives 4x. Now, 32 squared is 1024, which is 1024 times. Now, this square can cancel out the square root, leaving behind 2. And this is equal to 32 to the 4x. Now, let's simplify the left-hand side. So, 
1024 times 2 gives 2 times 4, that is 8. 2 times 2, that is 4. 2 times 0 is 0. And then 2 times 1 is 2. So this gives 2048. And this is equal to 32 to the 4x. Now, our next step will be for us to simplify the left hand side. The left hand side can be written as a base of 2 raised to the 11. So 2048 is same as 2 to the 11. This is equal to, I can also raise 32 to the base of 2. Now, write 32 in the base of 2. So we have 2 to the 5 which results to 32. And this is raised to the 4x. So I'm going to be raising this to the 4x. So this will simplify into 2 to the 11 to be equal to, now write down the base, 2 to the, now this power and this power multiply. So 5 times 4x is 20x. Now notice that the base on the left and the base on the right are the same. And for that reason, we have to equate the powers. So equate powers. The power on the left is 11. This is equal to the power on the right is 20x. And in order to get the value of x, we divide both sides by 20. So I'll divide the left by 20 and divide the right by 20. So this 20 can cancel this 20, leaving behind x to be equal to 11 all over 20. To write this more appropriately, I'll write the x on the left-hand side to be equal to 11 all over 20. Now, how do we determine if this our answer is correct? We check. We check this by putting the value of x into our original equation. Our original equation is given by the x roots of 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 equal to 32. So we have the left-hand side and we also have the right-hand side. But our main focus will be on the left-hand side. We want to see, after imputing the value of x as 11 over 20, we want to see if we get 32 as our final result. So let's take the left-hand side. So take the left-hand side. We want to solve the left-hand side to give 32. Now the value of x which we've got is 11 over 20. So we have the 11 over 20 roots of 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. Now let's apply the property of indices that says when I have, for example, the nth root of a, this is the same as the number inside a to the 1 all over the number outside n. We're going to be applying that here. So this will be the number inside is 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. So this is raised to the 1 all over the number outside 11 over 20. Good. So this is simplified into 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 raised to the well, this is an inverse, an inverse of 11 over 20, which can be written as 20 all over 11. An inverse like this can be written by flipping the positions of the denominator and the numerator, which we have done here. Now, this power affects the 4, and it also affects the outer root. So this can be written as 4 to the power of 20 over 11, times the outer root, which is the square root of 2 root 2, raised to the power of 20 over 11. Now let's write 4 as a base of 2 to the power of 2. This is raised to the 20 over 11 times. Now we want to apply this, write the inner number, which is 2 root 2, raised to the there is an invisible power of 2 outside here. So this can be written as 1 all over the outer number, 2, which is then raised to the 20 all over 11.
Now let's apply the property of indices. We write down the base and then multiply the powers. So 2 times 20 over 11 is, 2 times 20 is 40, all over the denominator 11 times. Now write down the base, which is 2 root 2 raised to the, now the powers multiply. Now 2 here, 1, 2 here is 10. So I have 1 times 10 is 10 all over 11. That is it. So now simplifying further, we have 2 to the 40 over 11 times. Now this power here affects the 2. It also affects the outer root. So this can be written as 2 to the 10 over 11 times the square root of 2 to the 10 all over 11, which gives 2 to the 40 over 11 times 2 to the 10 over 11 times now we we'll write down the 2 raised to the we have an invisible power of we have an invisible root of 2 here so this is 1 all over 2 raised to the 10 all over 11 and then simplifying further we have 2 to the 40 over 11 times 2 to the 10 over 11 times from indices write down the 2 multiply the powers so 2 here 1 2 here is 5 so 1 times 5 is 5 all over 1 times 11 is 11 now we have the same basis which are multiplying from indices we take one of the base which is 2 and then add up the powers as they are multiplying now let's add up the powers so we have 40 over 11 plus 10 over 11 plus 5 over 11 that is it now let's work with the power let's work on the power so this becomes since the denominators are the same which is 11 i can just write 11 there and then add up the numerators so 40 plus 10 plus 5 is 55 which gives 55 divided by 11 is 5. So in the end, I have 2 to the 5, and 2 to the 5 is equal to 32. I remember 32 is what we have on the right hand side, which means our value for x, which is equal to 11 over 20, is very much correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.